what's going oh hold on there you go what's going on youtube world and youtube tribe welcome back to a little bit man gaming bring it you y'all see that another review for marvel's what if and this episode of marvel's what if is called what if t'challa became I don't know why they got it phrased like that, but it's what if T'Challa became a Star Lord? I guess there's going to be more than one Star Lord. I don't know, but it just says what if T'Challa became a Star Lord? Uh, just want to say thank you for everybody that's joining me. Let's get into it. Um, the synopsis reads: The rough and tumble space pirates, known as, known as the Ravengers. Uh, the T'Challa instead of Peter Quill. So, just like just like in the first episode, which I might add, this episode was significantly, I say it was significantly better than uh, than the first episode, just because while the first episode uh, would have changed, you know, Steve and Steve's life, Peggy's life, and a couple of others. This would have changed a lot of people's lives. A lot. And that's one of the cool things I won't spoil to you. Is that just just this one change changed everybody's life. And I mean every Guardian of the Galaxy's life. Obviously. Obviously for the, from the title it changed Peter Quill's. Because in the episode we introduced to a young T'Challa who wants to... Explore the world outside of Wakanda. You got, you got King T'Chaka telling um telling T'Challa that you know the world outside is cruel and unforgiving that it's nothing to explore and that they had to keep themselves closed off to keep themselves a secret. You know the the the, the usual mumbo jumbo that you get from Wakanda with the Wakandian royalties beforehand about why they keep Wakanda closed off. So. T'Challa, who was out exploring and having fun with, you know, throwing throwing a spear, he accidentally runs into the bar the fake barrier that surrounds Wakanda. So he ended up throwing his spear through it. He put his hand through it, you know, curious. He goes straight through it and ends up outside the barrier to where the Ravager uh, spaceship uh, then soon flies over his head and takes him and takes him. And <laughs> oddly. Uh, and, and this story, just like how in the first one where they saw what what ch what the decision was that led to the deviation from what we know in the uh, movie, this uh, this uh, deviation was made because somebody didn't because somebody delegated. I guess this is a this is a common this is really supposed to be this what if you know uh, uh, the child becoming Star Lord is basically supposed to be the first movie. I think, yeah, it's supposed to be the first movie in the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. So this is supposed to be about the Guardians of the Galaxy, but the what if it was T'Challa instead of Star-Lord. So this movie, basically, this episode retells the Guardians of the Galaxy 1 movie, Volume 1, with uh, T'Challa as, uh, as Star-Lord. And you see how drastically him being Star-Lord changed everything. Where you got the uh, you, you you every and everybody from Guardians of the Galaxy is back voicing their characters. You got the dude who played Yondu. I forgot his I forgot his name. I think it was up here. I just I forgot his name who played Yondu. But uh, ah, man, I want oh yeah you got Michael. His name is Michael uh, Rooker. He um, played Yondu. You got the. Uh, the uh, you got my one boy back who when uh when Starter was like I'm Starter man he was like who <laughs> he was like yeah, he, uh what's his name um I think it I I don't want to butcher it but I think it's Di Dijamon I think that's how you say it but yeah he even comes back but you know his character is different instead of being the person who don't don't know who Star Lord is. They switch it around this time. He know who Star Lord is because T'Challa Star Lord has basically made a name for himself. Um, I guess in this version, uh, T'Challa Star Lord has become somewhat 
of of Robin Hood. He even teach. We even learned that Yandu was taught, you know, about Robin Hood. You know, he but he butchers Robin Hood. Uh, he do get the Robin part right, but I think instead of saying Robin Hood, he say Robin something nothing. To Chala is like Robin Hood. <laughs> but yeah, uh, this Star Lord has become. This Star Lord has to Chala Star Lord and. Rest in peace to Chaswick Balls, man. I forgot to mention that too. This is, I think, was yeah. This is they, this is the last time, of for the Chaswick, Mr. Chaswick got to be T'Challa, aka Black Panther. He was, uh, I think, this was one of the final roles he did before his untimely passing. So, just want to throw that out there. This, this is, because I want to throw that out there because when they first, when they, when I first seen like the little trailer for this. And they revealed that they're gonna have a what if on involving T'Challa. I didn't know that he actually got the chance to voice T'Challa again um, before his passing. So just it like he is to Chadwick Boseman did return to voice T'Challa in the what if. And I think it's gonna he's gonna still be voicing him in the sub and the uh, later on episodes too. I think he was able to actually do the whole show as you know after voicing T'Challa. Um, but yeah, so we found out that T'Challa Star Lord has basically changed everybody's life. Nubula, from Nubula to Thanos to Drax, all, everybody's lives is different now. Even the collectors, and you learn uh, the journey of this. What if is learning what uh, what is different now? Who is different? Why is certain people now certain people that was evil, hell bent on genocide, is now? Uh, 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 and it's not a guardian, you know, and I, that's kind of a spoiler right there because uh, you know who I'm getting at. There's only one character who was hell bent on genocide in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and he's not. And you know, I kind of just spoil what and, you know how T'Challa being Star Lord changed his life. Um, it changed new, new, like I said, Nubula, uh, Karen. She's back as Nubula. Everybody's back. Uh, you see, everybody's lives is different. I think the only people you don't see is Rocket and Groot. I could be wrong. I gotta go back and look at it, but I'm pretty sure Rocket and Groot and uh, 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 Gamora was in this episode. But we do know we will be seeing Gamora later on in the What If storyline. So we will be seeing Gamora. Um, but yeah, you just it, T'Challa basically changed everything, and he had. He uh, it changed the whole story. The, the the story of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume One it didn't in, unlike the movie where the movie was about Peter Krill, you know, meeting the rest of the Guardians and forming the Guardians of the Galaxy. And the what if the Guardians of the Galaxy are already formed, already got his team uh, uh, members. And basically, what they do, they go. He changed. They, he changed what they are in the com in the. Uh, in the, in the movie, in the movies, they was all about they was they did steal, but they stole for people. They just stole for people for bad people to give to bad people or something like that. But like I said, in this one, they like Robin Hood. They steal from the rich to give to the poor, and they they plan to steal something from the collector. But like I said, roles are reversed here. So you know, without a certain person being the cosmic ruler and overlord, people are afraid of. Somebody had to fill that void, and who filled that void, I it, I won't tell you. But somebody filled that void that we already met in the movies, and now he's like now he's the over collected supreme overlord that everybody's afraid of, and things are we things are different. We even get a little camel again from Howard the Duck, but in a bigger camel like role. Um, <laughs> it, 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 this story was so it was so magnificent. Like I really can't without I can, without spoiling anything. I really can't get into it. So I'm trying to like pick pieces that wasn't really central to the story. Um, there was you did get to see uh, the Wakandian spaceship and how basically we also the the Guardians is not the only people who got changed because of T'Challa being taken. The uh, the history of Black Panther in the Marvel Cinematic Universe is drastically different now too. Because certain people who who were dead by the time um, who were dead by the time Black Panther started 
are not dead anymore. And, and we also know that Killmonger, like I said, with Gamora, and then we also know that Killmonger is going to be making an appearance in the What If involving Tony Stark. So it's like, we all, we, it, all this stuff is starting to play out. We're starting to see like this other cinematic universe being formed. Uh, but yeah, it, it 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 was not. This episode was a good episode to watch because, it, like I said, it shows it changed the history of two of so many people, not just Peter Quill and T'Challa's, but everybody involved with both people and both parties. It it was even explained how they would even in this what if they were still there to kidnap um, Peter Quill. They were still supposed to kidnap Peter Quill. But like I said, what changed was that who is who they kidnapped. Thanks, thanks to somebody making a decision to delegate versus doing it themselves, like they did in the regular movie. They delegated, and now that became the mistake that changed the uh, the course of time and the flow of time by now having, um, by now having T'Challa's uh, Star Lord instead of Peter Quill. But we do get a little payoff of that at the end. There is a little payoff about. Uh, with Peter Quill and his father, um, so you, it, you know we uh, do get a payoff in that. Just it maybe the tease was more to come, and I think the next what if uh, I did uh, I did the next one is is involves Thor and Doctor Strange. I want to say that's the next one. I I'm not too sure. Uh, I think I want to say it involves Thor and Doctor Strange. I don't know. But yeah, I think the next one, I was trying to see what was the next episode. Um, but yeah, I think it is basically like Thor and um, Doctor Strange. But this episode in itself, like I said, I enjoyed it so much. Because it, it, you even see like funny things about like the, the, the thought of the genocide of... Not just humanity, but every living being in the universe is now turned into a joke. There's just nothing but a joke, and that's what if you even hear like, but it, you know, yeah, it, I, I believe it's still genocide. Oh, but it was, a, but I my my I add, it was efficient. <laughs> you know, the, it, 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 even when this guy is trying to is a good guy, now he still sounds like incredibly evil, but he's a good guy, and you know. And that's only because T'Challa was Star Lord. Somehow T'Challa as Star Lord changed his whole perspective about what he wanted to do. And even uh, you even see because of that, you even see a certain order. And uh, I mean, I wore black for a reason about this order. <laughs> wink, wink. <laughs> you you even see what happens to a certain order. Um. But yeah, uh, <laughs> in, in, in all, it was a good episode. If I were to give this episode anything, I would give it, I'd give it a perfect 10. A perfect 10 out of 10, big ups, just because it was a great episode. I enjoyed it, and I enjoyed it way more than I did the first episode because, like I said, this didn't have just, this world didn't just change to Child's Life with Peter Quills. It changed the entire cinematic universe in its entirety now. Because now, you know, who who was the the, the bit bad for all the, the leading up to the Avengers Infinity War is now, you know, everything was different. Everything switched around. So there's no telling of this what if of the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Who was the, the new big bad now? Who was, the, who was going to be the new third uh, and build up villain of the Avengers and all that type of stuff? Like, it's, it's great. It's great. I'm more interested than ever now to see what that's going to happen with that story. But that's all I got. That's all I got for this episode. Uh, or I said, yeah, for this episode review. I was about to say this episode uh, uh, like I was a TV show. But <laughs> that's all I got for this episode review. If you enjoyed it, then hit this button right there in the upper right corner for all of my review videos from beginning to now. And if you truly enjoyed it, and you want to support the channel, then hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification button as well so you get notified when you when I drop videos. Do all those great things and hit any one of these videos for more of my amazing content, but don't go anywhere because I got one more review video for you for today. And uh, yeah, this is going to be totally free. <laughs>